My name is Alistair Lee, and in this video, I'm going to walk through the process of integrating Adobe Experience Manager with Adobe Sign by adding a signature object to a form. By signing an adaptive form, we can create a trusted document of record that's automatically emailed to all of the appropriate parties. To create this integration, before going to Forms, we're going to set up a cloud service. And we'll do that by clicking on Adobe Experience Manager, selecting the Tools icon, and going down to Deployment, and selecting Cloud Services. In this Cloud Services section, we can integrate with other products in the Adobe Marketing Cloud, as well as the Adobe Document Cloud. If I scroll down, I can see here the Adobe Document Cloud eSignature Services, which has recently been rebranded to Adobe Sign. I'm going to click on Show Configurations, and you'll see that I've actually already got two configurations set up. But let's start from scratch by clicking on the plus button to add a new configuration. We'll give this a title. I'm just going to call it Demo Configuration and a name, and then hit Create. This opens up a page that gives me the opportunity to paste in the API key that I've gotten from Adobe Sign. So I'll paste that in. I've got the option of signing attachments. I'm not going to check that right now. I am going to test my connection, though, by clicking on the Connect button. And it looks like my connection is successful. So I'll click OK and OK again. We've now got a successful cloud service integration set up. Let's test it by adding a signature object to an adaptive form. We'll do that by going back out to the Adobe Experience Manager, selecting the navigation icon, and then forms, and navigating to the form we'd like to add a signature to. In my case, I've got a folder here with a demo form. Before editing this form, though, I need to make sure it's got a document of record associated with it. What we're actually signing is the document of record, so it's critical that that is already associated with our form. And to check that, I'm going to click on the View Properties icon before editing my form. Now that I'm looking at my form properties, I can click on Form Model, and I can see that I do have this form associated with a document of record already. If you've got it set to None, which is one of the first options, you'll need to make sure that you associate your form with a document of record, otherwise the Adobe Signature will have nothing to sign. Right, we've already got this set up and working in this case, so I'm going to click Close, and we'll choose to edit our form by clicking on the Open Pencil icon. This happens to be a fairly basic form. It's got three different panels that I can use to fill out some information. And on the third panel, I've got a section where I'd like to add a signature object. To add that object, I'm going to open up my side panel, click on Components, and I can see all of the different components here. I can start by searching for signature objects. And you'll notice I've actually got two different signature objects to choose from for my adaptive forms. This is a scribble signature, which just adds an area that somebody can sign using a stylus or a mobile tablet. It's not going to give me a trusted document of record, though. The one I'm interested in using is this eSign object, and I'll drag that object directly onto my adaptive form, and then click on the properties to adjust the properties of this component. I can give it a new name, a different title, which will show up on the form itself. Change the template message, although this will be replaced fairly quickly as we're looking at the form, so I'm just going to leave that. I can toggle between the different signing services, Adobe Sign or Scribble. I'm going to select the Adobe Document Cloud uh, service for now, though. Uh, it is important, though, that I set my configuration. And here's where we can add the configuration that we just set up in the Cloud Services section. I'll select that new demo configuration that we just created. And now that I'm happy with all of my properties, I'll click Done. We can test this new signature object by clicking on Preview. That opens up our form in preview mode. I'll very quickly fill this out. And scrolling down, the signature object is automatically created for me to sign my form. This document of records already integrated all of the information that I'd entered as part of filling out my form, and has also got an email uh, and signature option. I'm going to click to sign. There's two ways I can sign. I can draw my signature, which works really well if you've got a stylus or a mobile device, or I can type my signature if I'm using a keyboard, which is what I'll do here. 
I'll click apply to add my signature and then click this button to sign the form. Adobe Experience Manager automatically creates a signed and trusted document of record, which will automatically email all of the appropriate parties. And that's how easy it is to integrate Adobe Experience Manager with Adobe Sign through cloud services and add a signature object to your adaptive forms. Thanks for your time.